or welcome back or whatever. I'm so glad you clicked on this video. Today we're doing an update for Panos Eyeshadows. I think it's my eighth update. Anyway, very exciting. Oh crap, I forgot my notebook. Very exciting update today. We have some rollouts, so we have some roll-ins. So let's start from the beginning. The first shade, the oldest uh, shade, that sounds weird. The shade with, uh, that has been in here the longest, although it might have been in here the same as some other ones. Anyway, it's an orange eyeshadow from NYX, from my NYX Ultimate Brights, which loves to be in this project. This is what it looked like last month. And here it is now. Oh gosh, the lighting in here. There's a huge dip in this. Um, I honestly might try and hit pan on this, but I have used it 24 times, and my goal is 20. So I'm rolling it out but I kind of want to hit pan in it. I've been doing some, I've been doing this thing where if I get home late, I like pick a really kind of wild eye look I want to recreate and then I just go for it. And because of this has been in my project, I've been picking orange ones and then using a lot of this product. So I feel like I could hit pan on this pretty easy, but um, I also don't really like orange and I'm kind of worried about it crumbling because it's repressed. Anyway, it's rolling out of this project. I used it 24 times. Last time I had used it 16, so that's an additional eight times, which is pretty good. And um, I'm glad to see it go. And I think if I roll in another shade from my Ultimate Brights, I'll just re-roll because I don't really want to deal with it again. Anyway, next shade is um, Carving from Cleona. This is what it was looking like last month with 10 uses. And here it is now. I have used it 15 times. It has a nice dip going in the middle there. There's no I'm gonna hit paint on this in 20 uses. I'm just gonna use it 20 times, maybe like 22, 24. Um, yeah, I'm feeling good about that. That's staying in. Next is the shade Queen from my Naked Honey palette by Urban Decay. Um, this is what it looked like last month. I had used it 15 times. And here is what it's looking like this month. Just a little bit of disturbance still. I've used it 21 times, so this will be rolling out as well. Um, this was actually quite a joy to use, um, really nice kind of grey, yellow color, great for the outer corner, um, even though it didn't go super well with the other stuff in my kind of color palette recently. But anyway, that's rolling out too! So those are two rollouts so far, right? Yeah. Okay, next is the shade Real Gar from my Depotted ABH Modern Renaissance palette. This is what it was looking like last time. I just rolled it in. And here it is now. We have a pan, ladies and gentlemen. Look at that. I'm so happy. This was rolled into my original pan of eyeshadows that I started and then proceeded to never update in 2020. So... This is a huge accomplishment. I only had to use it seven times. Um, I did use it one more time after that. I have it on today. I have everything on today. If you can tell. I don't know if you can. The lighting's really bad. Um, yeah, I'm so happy to have pan in this. That means there's only one shade in this palette that I don't have pan on, um, which is super exciting. It's a love letter, which is also, <laughs> I have it right here because I've been trying to work on it in the background. But anyway, um, especially after it took me 44 uses to hit pan on red ochre, which is similar in like depth. Um, yeah, this already had a dip in it for sure, but like it was so nice to be able to hit pan on this in seven uses. I was not expecting it, but anyway, so happy about that. That will be rolling out. Um, I really didn't think I would have a pan this update, but here we are. So that's, that's thrilling. All right. Next is the shade Nutty. I also rolled it in last month, and this is what it was looking like. Just a pretty plain, pretty plain dark brown, and here it is now. So I've used this 22 times, and there is definitely a dip. I use it mostly as kind of like an outer corner liner type of shade. Oh my gosh. Um, yeah, uh, I used it a good amount. I feel good about it. I used it today for my wing, and um, yeah, definitely wasn't going to hit pan unless I just like really dug down there. So this is rolling out as well. And finally, the last shade I rolled in last update was um, Celine from Terra Moon. This is what it was looking like last time. And here it is now. Uh, you can't really tell because it's so white, but there is a little bit of a dip. And um, definitely, sh it, sh <laughs> it definitely looks like it's been used. And um, I've used it eight times, uh, which is pretty good for like an iridescent, very sparkly shade. Right now I have it on my inner corner. It looks quite yellow. Um, 
but yeah, I'm still kind of figuring out how to use this, although I do, I do like it. So, I'm rolling out four shades, um, which are these, I can't even see them, why did I pick them up like that? These three, and um, this Naked Honey shade. So I will be rolling four numbers. All right, I took a quick break to help my friend with his homework. Um, and now we're gonna randomize the numbers. So I'm randomizing between two and 202 because I noticed that there was a discrepancy between my total number of eyeshadows um, and my total number of pans and the number of eyeshadows in my eyeshadows without pan. I was missing two eyeshadows. So I like recopied all of my eyeshadows and moved them over and took out all the ones with pan. And now I have um, 201 without pan. I believe. Um, so, a couple of disclaimers. I do have a couple palettes that I left in my college apartment, so if I roll one of those, I will have to re-roll. Um, and then I am going to reject any that are um, either that I have already worked on recently within like the past two updates, or that are from the Ultimate Brights palette. Probably. There are a couple from that palette I might be willing to work on, but generally that palette has been in this project five times, and I'm kind of just done with it. I have a lot of other palettes that have never been in this project. So, anyway, here's my computer. Sorry about the reflection. So, the first is 92, 187, 66, and 111. So... Um, we're gonna hope that those work. Okay, so um, 92 is the shade Right Hand Mando from the Ch ColourPop The Child palette, which is this shade here. Um, it's a really beautiful, uh, like very light, um, cool kind of silvery green shade. I quite like it. It has a little bit of a dip in it, um, but I don't know that I will be hitting pan. Um, I'm also going to quickly swatch the other two shadows that are staying in. So, so far all, all shimmers, you can kind of see them there. Again, there's like just too much light. Um, Alright, so the next one is actually kind of a funny story. When I took all my eyeshadows over here, um, I packed up my um, singles in this giant palette. And a couple of them shattered. Um, among those were, were um, Dandelion's Shigarath, which is what I rolled in, and a um, Pretty Spree Face shadow um, called Asteroid. And they kind of mixed together and made this shadow, and I just scraped it all into the two empty pans. This is the one that's less filled of the two, um, but it's the one in the Shigarath packaging, so that's what I'm rolling in. It's kind of this pink um, shimmer with a little bit of cool toned reflection but I haven't really used it um, since I repressed it all so this should be interesting and it should be pretty easy to hit pan on because it's really shallow in the pan um, so I'll just go ahead and take advantage of that all right a bunch of shimmers so far um, next is actually also from my Naked Honey palette which just rolled out it's the darkest shade the st shade sting a lot like nutty I thought about not rolling it in but I will use it, so I might as well use it 20 times. I'm not going to hit pan on it because these pans are super hard to get through. Um, it does have a little bit of um, disturbance in it, but yeah, just super basic brown. Yep, dark brown. And finally is the shade Candid from Give It To Me Straight, which is another shimmer. Super heavy on the shimmers, this um, round, kind of a peachy... Um, orangey shimmer so it's a bad angle but um this is my new color palette so there's that um I'm excited it's a lot of shimmers um I don't know yeah I guess I will definitely try to hit pan on Shigorath um I will I guess just try and get to 20 uses on everything else um it's a lot of shimmers it's definitely kind of purpley orangey we have a couple of cooler shades here not that you can see them very well and I'll definitely get to 20 uses on sting pretty easily so that's what we're looking towards in the future um today is the like 29th of July I will be moving back to college on like the 24th or 25th of August so hopefully I'll have one more update here 
and then I'll be back with all of my eyeshadows in my college apartment. Um, and I think my background will change there because I think we're swapping rooms, me and my roommates. Um, anyway, thank you so much for watching. If you have any ideas of what to do with all of these shimmers, please let me know. Uh, it's gonna be interesting. I only have one matte. Um, but I'm glad to get these two palettes in this project. They haven't been in here before. Um, I, these are the two palettes I was thinking of when I was talking about how often my um, NYX Ultimate Brights palette has been in the project. It's always nice to have the Naked Honey around even though it can be harder to reach for than um, stuff I can put in my Magnetic palette and, um, and so on. But uh, yeah, thanks so much for watching, like I said. Um, if you want to catch up on the rest of the series, I have lots of updates um, going all the way back to February. You can check those out in their own um, playlist, and I have plenty of other projects too. And also, like, go ahead and check out other people in this project. Um, you're probably already doing that, but I highly recommend it. I love it, and uh, I'll see you next time. Bye.